Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. So I'm out here doing another Copart walk around. Hopefully we'll find some cool builds, some new future builds maybe. It just depends how much they go for. But let's not waste any time and let's go to our first pick. Here we go, there it is. So we got ourselves here a 2016 Dodge Challenger. Front end damage, it's not a run and drive, but fairly low miles, I would say. Not bad for a 16, we got 68,000 miles on it. It says engine start, let's go ahead and pop the hood, see if there's any power to this thing. Keys are there, it is a manual, so that's pretty cool, but I don't see any power to it, dang. Be really nice to be able to start it see what it sounds like let's see what's going on under the hood check out the damage obviously our hood is all messed up oh yeah 57 v8 hammy that's what i'm talking about because if it was like smaller engine i mean for a salvage title you want some power to it so definitely nice looks like you got a custom intake pretty cool radiators are definitely busted right there you can tell frame rail rebar is in that's bent right there definitely some framework on it surprisingly parts aren't that bad and it's salvageable look underneath make sure it didn't get too much in there radiator support is bent as well but i think that just unbolts so it shouldn't be too bad and once these fenders come off it's all kind of exposed not bad obviously it's fixable but going back to the inside it looked kind of rough honestly interior is a little rough shape most of it could be cleaned up but just normal wear and tear hard to get out you know that's just so much more details i have to worry about if this thing was mint i'd probably give more to it but keep an eye on it see what it goes for but not really too excited about it so make sure if you stay tuned to the end of the video we are going to watch it play i mean who knows we might be able to pick it up if it goes cheap enough maybe i mean it's still really nice i'm sure these things are worth money backup sensors on it backup camera I don't see the camera, maybe just backup sensors. <laughs> but yeah, let's move on. Let's check what else we got. All right guys, so this next one is a doozy. I mean, it is wrecked pretty bad. It makes our wrecked Duramax look, you know, it's not so bad. So this one's definitely uh, took a really good hit on it, but it's just crazy how the buy now price is at $42,000. So that's, that's a lot of money for a salvage vehicle car, but they're asking 42 for buy now, and the current bid's already $11,000. But let me go show you what this thing is. It's pretty crazy. This thing's a 2021 Ram 1500 TRX. I mean, look at these pictures on the Copart app. That's crazy. I mean, I get it. This thing is supercharged, but look at that damage. Man, that's insane. Just for curiosity, let's look how much how much an engine on this thing is worth. Some of those people say, oh, it's salvage, you got it dirt cheap. No, no, no. Things still go for a lot of money, even if they're wrecked. Dang, that frame is on the ground. I mean, frame damage all around. The transmission's on the ground. Dang. Let's see if we pop this hood open and see what's going on. Dang, so I mean the reinforcement bar is definitely pushed. There's obviously frame damage, but it, underneath all these plastics, let me see if I get those off and check out the engine itself. There it is. That's what's worth the money right there. Shoot. It'd be nice to put that into something else. Engine looks okay. I mean, the computer's there. Hopefully that's fine. That's where the money's at. So I guess you still have some parts that are salvageable. Headlight is okay. Tires are good. Suspension on this side might be okay. So no key, bio, no miles. So bio means some kind of biohazard. So I'm not going to go inside too much. I mean, it's definitely got the nice shocks in there. Dang. Those things look like they're controlled hydraulically. Wow. I mean, this thing is definitely nice. Or well, it was nice. Here's the other rim and tire, probably just ripped right off. So luckily we don't have to actually open the door on this side. <laughs> the door is already open, both of them. Big old display screen on there. I mean, 
dang, anything's possible with the right amount of money and time, but get this thing back in the road. Oh boy. That interior is really nice. Like I said, it was nice. Oh wow, I am really curious to see how much this thing goes for. I still can't believe the buy it now price is 40 something thousand dollars. That's insane, but yeah, I mean, definitely still got some money in it, that engine itself, right? Pretty cool. Man, that'd be nice to put into something else for sure. But I doubt this thing's gonna go back on the road. All right, all right, time to move on to our next build. And no, it's not a Ram. We got a Chevy. All right, here we go. We got a custom C10. Look at this thing. Ooh wee. It's definitely an eye catcher. I mean, not just that crash itself, but these things are awesome. A lot of people work on them, getting restored, modify them. You could tell that the frame is definitely shifted on it. So when it took the hit, the whole thing shifted over. So it's gonna be a lot of framework, but I'm here for the engine. Let's see what this thing's got. I was looking at the picture. It looks like it was something custom. Oh yeah, there we go. So this thing has obviously got some work done to it. I mean, we got new wire harness, new battery. Engine itself looks like it's been rebuilt. I'm not even sure exactly what it is, but man, it looks like it shifted over and hit the brake booster right there. That's unfortunate, but I'm sure it's still fire up. And we got a new alternator on there, new belts, pulleys, water pump. This thing's definitely sweet. Somebody put a lot of time and money into it. Firewall itself looks like it's been repainted, restored. Dang. Got some new aftermarket radiator coolers and stuff, fans. This thing's nice. I love the wheels on it. Let's check out the interior. And that is pinched due to the door being hit in the fender probably. Dang, let me see if I could get it open without damaging anything. Yes, sir. So check out that interior. Oh man, it is looking good. Very clean. Wow, somebody put a lot of money into this for sure. All of the door panel. Still got the roll down windows. So a lot of original, but then at the same time, they've modified it. So this thing is a run and drive, which is pretty crazy because I'm pretty sure there's frame damage, suspension damage, all that fun stuff, but I just can't get the key to churn. Man, nothing. So I can't start it, can't hear it, can't do nothing with it. But it is looking really clean in here. That's unfortunate. Man, this thing's sweet though. Very old school. All right, I was able to get the key inside, the right one, and it turns, but I got no power. Man, that's unfortunate. Man, it'd be definitely nice to get another classic build, like our Cobra that we have, but I don't know if we want to do with this one. It's not that bad, but at the same time, it's a little bigger of a project that I'm going to do right now. I don't know. We'll see. See how much it goes for. Keep an eye on it for sure. I would definitely need to do more research on how much we get the parts, how much the parts are, if they're even available. It'd be kind of hard to buy it and then be stuck with it for a long time because you can't get fenders, hoods, all that fun stuff. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, next on our list, we have a 2015 Chevy Silverado. And this is just a nice basic work truck. It's kind of a weird situation, so nothing really wrong with it. It's a clean title, but it's here at Copar. So that's always a red flag. If nothing's really wrong, why is it here? But hey, let's check it out and see what we could find, what the issues are. And if nothing's really that bad, let's just play. And if it goes cheap enough, hey, cool. Nice little truck. There you go. Flip it, make some money. Not a problem. Let's check it out. So just minor dents and scratches. I mean, it's a run and drive. Gaps look okay on it. Um, yeah, definitely need some tires, wheels on it, but that's not a big deal. Four door truck. It's not a four wheel drive, but it's not that old either. So I don't know. So far, everything seems okay. It's kind of interesting. They welded on the tail hitch over there. <laughs> that ain't going nowhere. Interesting. Not that many scratches or dents on it weird 128,000 miles on it not bad it's definitely dirty you know work truck whatever not all wipes off you get a little plastic cover for that it's not a big deal seats ripped you know that's fine 
kind of standard. Back seats, I mean, it's all that vinyl stuff. So all this stuff is washed out, no problem. I don't know, let's start it, let's hear it. All the lights come on, that's good. Starts right up. Doesn't sound bad at all. Low on fuel, okay. Washer fluid, that's fine. Service tire, that's always, probably took the tires off, but 128,000 miles on it. No check engine light, just the tire light flashing. Radio's working. So that's good. Air. I mean, two wheel drive truck, but not bad. Let's pop the hood, check it out. Make sure all the windows work. Sounds pretty quiet, I and mean, then I hear something going on. It might be a pulley, maybe the AC clutch. I mean, overall, sounds okay. I didn't check engine light on, so it's not bad. It's got the regular 134 AC, so very easy to work with. Not even the new style, nothing like that. I don't know, definitely keep an eye on it, see what it goes for. I picked up another little Silverado. All right, next we got a 2013 Subaru BRZ. This thing is looking pretty cool, not gonna lie. Front end looks nice. Got some cool rims. But check out the damage, that's all in the rear and it's pretty bad. Dang, it took a hard hit. Custom exhaust though, exhaust tips, glasses all busted out. So it's definitely water damage now as well. Man, that thing is whew, whacked hard. Quarter panel needs to be replaced. I mean, the rear trunk lid, everything, rear bar. Oh man, so much work. But let's not focus on the bad, let's check out the good. 115,000 miles on it, not bad at all. Looks a little dusty for that back glass is missing. Um, interior is not too bad i would say all moldy because the water damage so no glass and stuff so yeah we'll see how much it goes for just for curiosity i don't want to go in there all right guys welcome back it's the next day we're here at the shop and we're gonna watch these cars play so let's just see how much they go for and see if we can pick up some good deals all right guys the first car we have is a 2015 chevy silverado i checked it out runs pretty good it seems pretty clean it's a clean title but there's always kind of sketchy what's going on why is it on the auction I was doing some more digging, actually played a couple times. 4,500 is pretty good, but they're known for bad transmissions, and I don't know if I want to do a whole transmission swap right now, so that's fine. Let it go. Okay, so our 2016 Dodge Challenger. I mean, this thing's still pretty sweet. Ukraine is going on it for 8,000 against North Carolina. Dang, I don't know. That, that's crazy. Ukraine's still going at it, but sorry, they didn't get it this time. Okay, so we got the 1970 Chevy C10. This thing's pretty cool. Wow, 15 grand already. There was a lot of money, especially this one already has a lot of work put into it, but 15.7 Mexico, sold. Okay, next we have is a 2013 Subaru BRZ. Inside was kind of, you know, rough too, so it wasn't really taking care of that great. You know, just normal wear and tear kind of thing, so. Three and a half, that's a lot of work in the rear end. Yeah, that's not a bad deal though. 3,600, it's okay. So this is the one we're kind of excited or kind of really curious about, the 2021 Ram 1500 TRX. Man, $20,000, that's insane. This thing is messed up. I mean, you need a cab swap, frame swap, everything swap kind of thing. So the only thing you really have is the engine, I would say, but 22 grand, 25. Oh. Woo, dang, 23, going close to 24 grand. Wow, that's insane, guys. I mean, I don't know. That's that's a lot, but let's see how much these things are worth, these engines. All right, guys, so I'm having actually a hard time finding this engine. Surprisingly, not much on car parts, local junkyards, or even eBay, but we were able to find one for about $25,000. That's crazy. So basically, that's what's going on. The engine itself is worth that much money. Then you still get the transmission, maybe some other parts here and there. So I guess that's not too insane to get one for $24,000. So, but who knows, it's still a risk, you're still taking a gamble, but thanks so much for watching guys. Let us know if you like these kind of videos, if you like these Copart walk-arounds and what other kind of vehicles you'd like to see. But, all right, we'll see you next time.